Hello engineers, in this video I will explain how you can execute commands on virtual machines on Azure without using username and password. First things first, if you like my videos and you like the content of my channel, press the subscribe button and like this video in order to support me. For this demonstration, I have created a virtual machine on Azure that is hosted on a resource group called VMs. This virtual machine is an Ubuntu machine with 20.04 version and is running on Azure and I will try to execute command on this machine using the AZCLI. So in order to do that, you should first have a service connection from your DevOps project with this subscription or with this resource group. Using the previous examples that I have created, I have already in place my service connection. So I will use this service connection that has contributor role on the subscription that this example is hosted and I will perform the necessary action using this service connection. So I will use Azure CLI task and in order to use Azure CLI task, you must search it from the available tasks on Azure DevOps. So when you locate Azure CLI task, then you must fill the necessary information. So I'm using the inline script and partial core as I will run this pipeline on Ubuntu latest machine. So I'm running on an Ubuntu machine. So I will use partial core and I'm pointing my subscription on the service connection. And then I will use azvm run command in order to run a command on the virtual server without using the username and password. In order to do that, I should have first in place the service connection and I, I should know the VM name and also the resource group name for this VM. So I have created those and I have placed those in variables on Azure DevOps pipeline in order to use them. So this task will go and execute the command hostname on the virtual machine. So we want to get a response and the response would be Ubuntu as the friendly name on Azure will be given as hostname with the creation of the VM. Then my second command will run cat etc pass d so we will get a list of this file on our machine, which is the Ubuntu machine that is hosted on Azure. The important thing to notice is that in order to run a command on a Linux virtual machine, you should use the command ID and run shell script. But if you want to run the same procedure on a Windows machine, you should use the run partial script instead of run shell script. So you should replace this command with run partial script. So I have already run this pipeline and we will see the output right now. So this action is executed on the VM. And as you can see, we get as in the standard output, the Ubuntu that is the host name. And this is the new line character and this is the new line character. So our host name is Ubuntu and also we can get the output of Etsy pass D file as specified here from the command. So by using this procedure, you can execute quickly commands on a virtual machine without using username and password in order to connect with them through the Azure CLI task.